are so blessed because my 80 year old Papa Sammy is getting ready to share some tips on soil health and how that impacts your garden production. So enjoy and please like and subscribe to Papa Sammy and Ali Bug's YouTube channel. Thanks! Prep your soil. Your soil is the most important thing. Uh, yeah, if you look across my yard, it's it around the fence rows and I got blueberries by the fence, I got onions, uh, herbs, all over the yard. But, but you notice, I can cut grass without killing myself, you know. I just pick a spot that is basically not being used, like my bee place, it's all on one side. This is second year, see the cardboard? See the tomatoes? See the hay? You got real grass, but you don't see me pulling grass. I don't spend my time in the garden pulling grass. And now that's second year. This is first year. They might not even make it. Then again, they might take off, who knows. Plants are tough. So, next year, they will take off. I'm not worried about it. I'm just starting that. Oh, that's my base. <laughs> this is an automatic waterer on a timer. It waters without me even being here. I, this is, is automatic water also. I'm just to clean it out, it's in transition. You plant okra and peas, okra and peas. This is one of the uh, eggplant. eggplants that they pulled out and threw on the ground and said it was going to die. <laughs> and I'm experimenting with it and it's coming back beautiful. It looks ugly, but it's coming back. Wait, Daddy, let's make a point here. He has talked about soil health several times. This is what I mean about soil. See that? And why is it like that? Look at that fine stuff. For three or four years I've been working on this. I, I could shake my finger and it almost grow. I mean, you know, the same thing here. But that's why that eggplant's coming back. Oh, yeah. The soil's healthy. Yeah. I got sweet potatoes. I got garlic blackberries. I got ginger. Uh, cucumbers. What they call them things? Mulberries? Mulberries. Not mulberries. Raspberries? Raspberries. I got blackberries. I got squash. I got a fig tree. I got basil, a fig tree, asparagus, onions, blueberries. It's all over the yard. Here again, as long as I've had this in operation, look. What is there? Cardboard. And what's on top of it? Hay, leaves, you name it, it's under there. That brings the worms in. And once them worms take loose, get in there, you have no worries. See, everything, everything I plant, it's under cardboard and mulch. See there? Look, look. You don't see me pulling grass. This serves two purposes. The pipe, it's a deep water. You water it there. It makes the plant roots go down. Instead of getting on top of the soil, they go down deep. But you don't plant the plant in there. No, you plant your plants. But that's the deep water which makes the plants pull the root deep and get to the water. Also, I put food in there for the worms as worm towers. And what's that do? That grow the worms that are going in and eat and come back out here. Going in and eat and come back out here. So they have holes in them or something? Oh yeah, they got holes in them. Look, see here? See there? And that's underground too? Oh yeah, all the way down. They're about that deep in the ground. And I just water them, drop the food in there, cough the ground, whatever, and the worms take over. Same thing here with these blueberries. And you won't believe the blueberries I had this year. Look at them. Now, this, I got one tomato bush, it's in bad shape. I'm working on it. Look at that tomato. I don't care who you are, you're gonna get bad plants sometimes. Same plant, same tray, same seeds. Look at the difference. Why? I don't know. Better soil here for some reason. I don't know. That's why I cut the top off and I'm, I'm docking it, trying to work on it. Uh, there's my blueberries out here. You need to show this. You, you water and let it soak up from the bottom. These cups came from Dollar Tree. They, are, they were a dollar and something for 50 cups. A lot cheaper than buying the other stuff and easy to come by. Well, Papa Sammy, I have a question. If I put soil in that and pour water, won't I rot my plants? No. 
you don't drown them, and then you do the finger check. That's plenty damp. What is the finger so check? It's damp. Look, that's plenty damp. Do you poke yeah. holes in the bottom of your cups? Yeah. Okay. Always. Now look, that's what the plastic is for. Look at the plants we have. It took me about two hours to do this, and by doing them in the cups, when it comes time to plant them, take them out. Your roots are formed, and you've got a plant, not not a twig. These are just starting out. These are coming on. You did these, these about five days ago. No, no. Th these were done three days ago. Oh, wow. That's, that's worm poop and compost and coffee grounds. Okay, so you even make your own potting. your own potting soil. Yeah. That's what's up, Grandpa. You, you use uh, uh, peat moss, compost, coffee grounds. And, uh, worm casting. Worm poop. Hey, oh, by the way, I got 54 worms out of that worm poop you gave me, two eggs, and I'm just, I just checked it in three days. I told you there'd be a lot in there. Well, there's going to be a lot more in there than you make sure that. My blueberry bush is there. This is my uh, Japanese plum. It looks rough, but it does produce. It produces big time. And these blueberries, of course, they're gone now. Season's over with. But I'm telling you, you won't believe the berries I got off these bushes. 